Hey chefs, it's me, your favorite home cook, Joe. Welcome to a cooking stream. What are we making today? Wow, in fact, it says it right down there. Today we're cooking banana meatloaf. This stream is actually brought to you by the chat and everyone here who helped me reach last month's sub goal. I'm very excited. Oh, we'll put, oh, ah, ha, ha, ha. Thank you. As you know, last month we were playing the hit PC game, Desperate Housewives. And inside that game, we learned that banana meatloaf, which is meatloaf made with bananas and meat, is actually a real thing. It is something you cook in the game. And I found a recipe from the 1940s for banana meatloaf. And I'm here very excited, in fact, to make it for who? For you. I have meat. Oh, we're going to talk about the history of meatloaf because some people in the chat don't know what meatloaf is and I didn't know where it originated. So we looked it up on Wikipedia. It's got roots in Roman times. It is a tradition, meatloaf, traditional German, Scandinavian, Belgian dish is a cousin of the Dutch meatball. Um, it, it was eaten by people in the world, in fact. And um, it did meatloaf in the contemporary American sense did not appear in cookbooks till the late 19th century, which is like the 1800s, 1890s maybe. So what meatloaf is, is it was popular in like the 40s and 50s, I guess. It's a loaf of meat. You make it with breadcrumbs. You make it with ground beef. I don't know if people make it with ground pork. We didn't eat it a lot as a kid. Put in onions. It's everything that you would put in a hamburger. Hamburger rolled into a loaf and you eat it. I didn't know I was gonna have to explain meatloaf so much during this stream, but people, it's apparently not something a lot of people know about. And I guess it was an American classic. I have a knife, just so you know, and I will be starting the recipe, in fact, sooner than you might think because it's coming up right now. I'm gonna put the meat in last because I don't like touching meat. Touching meat scares me. Oh, not all kinds of meat though. Uh huh. So we're gonna start with the banana. This recipe calls for three fourths a cup of banana. This is one of my all clad um, baking measurement, one of my all clad measurement cups that my in laws gave me. And I have the whole set and I love it very much. So three fourths a cup of banana, mashed banana. Is that right? Three fourths cup mashed banana. So what I'm so from what I understand, this is literally a regular meatloaf recipe. So sometimes meatloaf has eggs in it to hold everything together. And in baking, you can replace eggs with banana a lot of the time. You eat meatloaf at least once a month. It's delicious. As an adult, when I've made meatloaf, it's delicious. Um, I think three-fourths a cup of banana is essentially one banana. Might need a little more. So, but instead of an egg to bind everything, this recipe calls for a banana, which I assume is going to add a little bit of a banana-y flavor because when you replace it in baked goods, it does too. No, in a lot of, in like vegan baking. This is not vegan meatloaf. I don't know why we're doing this right now because it is something, it's apparently something people had, I guess. I didn't bring any utensils, so I guess I'll mash it with my fingies. <laughs> it doesn't have dairy in it. No, no, this one doesn't have dairy. Eggs aren't dairy either though, so you can make it without dairy anyway, even if you use an egg. It, this is vegan adjacent. It just, it only has a ground, a pound of ground beef. This is vegan adjacent. It only has a pound of, it only has a pound of ground beef. Okay. <laughs> Did you tag? I didn't tag the stream as vegan. So it looks like that might actually be two. Two bananas worth. Okay, let's try it. I don't want to get it too banana-y. This is a cup and there's a little line on it for three fourths a cup. So I'm going off of that. I mean, it's basically a, a deconstructed or, oh, oh, it's not even a deconstructed hamburger. It's a mega constructed 
hamburger. I I should have got a fork. But you know, you can't go, but that's like a banana and a half. Let's just <laughs> Two banana, two fury. It's like a, so that's about, that turned out to be about a banana and a half mashed banana. Mashed. Uh oh. I have some wet wipes. Don't worry. No, the Slim Fast is for the Brenda stream. So y'all are also making me dress up as my character from the Desperate Housewives game named Brenda Windchimes. And that'll be next week on Thursday where I'll be wearing a wig. And if I can get my hands on some, drinking a Slim Fast, just like my character enjoyed. Okay, next, what we're going to actually put in this is breadcrumbs. I got these. Signature Select Ponko, which is breadcrumbs. And I got the extra crispy ones, and they also have Italian seasoning in them, which is, which is a seasoning that actually goes well in meatloaf, but... It doesn't call for it in this recipe. That's a lot of breadcrumbs. We're, pour we're pouring all of this in a bowl, by the way. That smells so good. That smells really good, actually. Okay, now for some, for some other seasonings. I have... It tells me what seasonings to use, but there are some I'm going to use as well that also work well in meatloaf. I love those measuring cups. Shout out to my in-laws. They got me the all-clad measuring cup set, and I'm, I've been obsessed. Um, now, what else is in this? In fact, it might shock you to know, one tablespoon of minced onion. I feel like I've made meatloaf before, and it has a lot more onion than that. So I'm going to put in like half of this onion. It wants what? A tablespoon of onion? Onion is delicious in meatloaf, so that's why I have the knife, by the way. And, oh, maybe y'all will get to see me cry. Do you mean to... Oh. <laughs> Do y'all want to see me cut this onion? You want to see me cut this onion, baby? I'm not good at it. I'm not super good at cutting onions. Justin likes to chop vegetables, but I also find that he's too slow at it. So sometimes I just really get in there. Sometimes I like to just really get in there. Um, uh, poll in the chat. Does onions make you cry when you chop them? They do make me cry if I chop them too long. This one's got a thick skin, mama. <laughs> just like me. Okay, and I didn't, I don't want any of this on. I'm not gonna mince it as, probably as finely as it wants me to. I'm gonna use about half of the onion. We'll. We like to freeze onions that we don't need in this house. And I also don't cut them properly, so. Just know that I've watched a lot of YouTube videos about how to cut onions, and then I never, I have never followed the information that I've seen. Put a wet paper towel ball on the board. Um, Mama, I don't know what that's... <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to do, but it's way too late for that. But it's way too late for that. This board is really loud because the surface I'm cutting on underneath it is just a fold-out table. Is a fold-out table with baking paper on it. These are the same tables me and Justin use when we record the podcast. It's not chopping the right way, so I don't look at it. <laughs> not my St. Louis sweater. Not a St. Louis sweater. We're being careful because we don't want the onions on the floor. A wet paper. Why am I? Why am I getting wet paper towel? <laughs> this is a regular size knife. I'm just skinty. Hello. This is a um. This is a four-inch knife. Oh. Oh, <laughs> so skinny. We are very careful when operating with knives. I have cut myself many times with knives on accident. And so I am paying very close attention whenever it is making a, it's a nail file. No, I don't worry. I pay very, very close attention. Whenever the knife is making contact with something, I am very much paying attention and very much in control. So don't worry about that. That is very well cut up. I don't want that piece. 
I'm, I'm using a whole half of an onion because that's what I think is good and I love onions. Mmm, onions and bananas. Okay, so I'm going to sweep that into the bowl. Mmm, it smells so good. Oh, my, I am kind of tearing up after that. I'm crying because it smells so good. All right, camera back up. Y'all don't know this about me. I'm a very responsible onion chopper. Yeah. So now we're going to... Ooh. Oh. What's the chemical that makes it cry? Not a cry cam. A camera that's super close up, zoomed in on my eyes. You can see them watering. I like some chunks of onions. I don't like them to disappear in the recipe. They're pretty small. Um, I don't want them minced. I don't want minced onions. Now we've got a cheese. Now we do the, the herbs and spices. This is a special blend. And then we will, in fact, put in the meat. I like a little crunch. I do. I love a little crunch. I'm like, but do people have cry cams? So first thing we're going to do is salt. I use more than salt for cooking. And then for baking and like seasoning other things, I like to use sea salt or kosher salt. But this just needs more dens. It wants me to use half a teaspoon. This is a fourth. So we'll just dump in a couple. Not an exact science. And in fact, I'll probably put more salt on it when I'm ready to eat it. I think an eighth a cup of ground pepper. So we'll just do this for a minute. Like it, like it be a little spicy, a little hot. That's good. It calls for ground mustard, which I don't, this, honestly, this spice jar is probably older than, I don't know when we got this. I don't know when, uh, this might have always been in the house since I've known Justin. So I'm going to put two heaping because it's probably, um, old spices and it's probably weaker than it should be i'm not cooking on the desk it's a portable table lined with parchment paper please <laughs> please and then it calls for smoke <laughs> having a breakdown live on camera it calls for a fourth of a teaspoon i guess whoever made this recipe in the 1940s liked things to taste like salt and nothing else and in addition i'm gonna add some garlic powder because i don't know why you wouldn't have garlic powder in your meatloaf it's so good i'm gonna put a little bit of i would put regular garlic in here i'm just put a little bit of garlic powder brenda's famous with an interesting twist by me and this also has a blend of italian spices from because i got the italian style bed breadcrumbs so that's got what Granulated onion. Oh, that has some garlic in it too. Papri oh, more paprika. <laughs> Shh. I thought it had rosemary in it, but it doesn't. <gasps> Shh. It's going to be fun. Now, in fact, <laughs> I, will, I will prepare this meatloaf in my office and nobody will tell me otherwise. Now the final ingredient, so one, we got the breadcrumbs, we got the minced onion, we got the bananas, da, 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 da. And we got the oven preheating to 350 degrees. And now I have this meatloaf that expires, in fact, today. Sell by today. I got a deal. <laughs> it's a little over a pound, but I added some more onions, so that's fun. And so that just goes right in. I am... If you, if you ask Justin, so I'm going to be making this meatloaf with my hands. Oh, this is the only webcam content of you'll ever have of me pounding the meat. <laughs> it's time to pound that meat. So you, you have to mix it all together. Um, Justin knows this about me. He knows that I fucking don't fuck with like I'm gonna have to put that meat thing in the trash can immediately especially if it's chicken or any kind of poultry 
I don't fuck with it. I think that it's toxic until it's cooked. I will be using a meat thermometer to make sure that this is fully cooked. Yeah, this is how you make meatloaf. You use your hands. This is literally how you make meatloaf. You use your hand. Y'all acting like y'all acting like cooking isn't a contact sport. Okay? Y'all acting like cooking. Y'all acting like y'all didn't know. You can't blend it all together with a spatula. Y'all act what do y'all wear? A hazmat suit when y'all fucking cook? Cooking is a contact sport. Y'all use fucking it's called meatloaf. You need bread. You need bread. I'll tell you what I need. Oh, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be able to hit the soundboard. Oh, I need a drink. Well Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, that part. <laughs> Say it with me, girls. A wine and Chardonnay. Honk. <laughs> ah, hello. Hello. I want this really mixed in because that banana needs to get mashed up a little bit more. Ah. Y'all want me to moan while I do this? Oh, I'm gonna be washing my hands immediately. Y'all don't know this about me. <laughs> Y'all don't know this about me. I am extremely hygienic in the kitchen. Anything that a chicken container touches, I fucking take rubbing alcohol and I just murder the surface. I don't know how well the, the banana is working as a binder. How's it smelling? It smells like meat and banana. Oh, it's going to be a thorough hand wash. Don't worry. I take rubbing alcohol. I take apple cider vinegar. Gro groaning and moaning. Justin's not home yet. Help ain't coming, y'all. Help's not coming, Diva. Cause Justin's not home yet. He's coming home later. When it's done baking. <laughs> My parents are around. Your parents should know what you're watching online. Okay? Okay? Your parents need to know what you're getting up to online. Okay, now we shape it into a loaf. And we're gonna put it in the loaf pan. I have, I'm using a Nordic ware. I enjoy Nordic ware. They don't let me down. I don't know if this is non-stick or not, but quite frankly, this is probably greasy enough that I don't have to worry about that. So here's what it's looking like. Um, a ball of meat. Blah. It's it's a large meatball. What the heck? <laughs> it's a large meat. Y'all wanted me to. Y'all paid for me to do this, and I'm gonna do it. Y'all paid for me to do this, and I'm gonna do it right. Y'all don't. I don't half-ass these things. I'm cooking in my office. I'm holding meat in my office. You paid to watch me make banana meatloaf. I have to pay taxes on that money. <laughs> And so I'm gonna do it. I want you to sit down. I want you to shut up. And I want you to learn something. <laughs> Plop. All right. <laughs> Not I use Twitch Prime. <laughs> it's all the same to me, mama. Okay, so we're gonna shape it. I guess I, I mean, do I wanna pack this down? How do you, do you usually pack it down? It's meat shaped and it, it, I don't think it's gonna, I mean, this isn't like a cookie, it's not gonna spread. If we just make it a little bit loaf shaped, it'll be fine. <laughs> the meat. <laughs> the meat covered fingies? Are you talking about my meat fingies? Did y'all know that your bones are wet inside your body? 
You know when you see a skeleton? That's not the truth, Ellen. Your bones are wet and soggy at all times, and they're also pretty squishy on the inside, I think. I don't know for sure, because I... I didn't do great in biology, and I didn't take anatomy. Not crispy. Y'all have fried chicken bones, don't you? Uh, yeah, I'm making sure the top is even. It was a little bit bigger on one side, so, um... Now, this cooks for like an hour, y'all. This cooks for like an hour. Um, I think it's pretty good. It's pretty much ready to be put in there. It's kind of a shallow meatloaf. <laughs> Just like me. What? Oh, hello! <laughs> mm, hello! Shallow! Hello! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go pop this in the oven. And, um, how do I get these earphones out? Uh-oh. <laughs> Shit. Uh-oh. I can't get the headphones out of my ears. <laughs> Hold on. They are deep in my ears. They are fucking deep in my ears. Oh, okay. Should I use this? <laughs> but I still don't want to touch anything. These are meat hands now. These are meat hands. Oh my God. Grab it with a tissue. But won't the meat? I did it. Okay, cool. I will go put this in the oven. I'll be right back because then I'm going to essentially clean this up. And then we're going to do some online shopping together because this has to bake for an hour. Uh, I'm not editing any of this. So if you're watching this on YouTube, just see what the chat is saying right now. I'll be right back. I love you. Oh, I can't. I can't use the mouse. I can't click anything. Uh huh. It's time to do a little bit of cleaning up. Oh, we made a mm, baby made a mess. I made a mess. <laughs> hey Google, set a timer for 45 minutes. Got her, she listened. Got her. Okay, so I'm scared to touch most of this because it's meaty, but I'll be washing my hands again. I'm just going to basically make a bowl of a trash. <laughs> and then we're going to move this out of the way. Break out the... Mama, the Clorox wipes aren't enough. I'll, that stuff can be left there for now. I'm going to go put this in the kitchen. You got to clean up your... You got to clean up your work areas. You gotta clean up your work areas. You gotta. Oh, oh, 
Okay, now think about all the places you want to online shop, okay? But what? Walmart, Target, Banana Republic. I'm taking this off of the, well, I guess, I guess we could just move this aside for now. That's fine. Ah! Ah! All right, I'm gonna wash my hands one more time and then we're gonna shop. Yum, yum, I'm excited. Oh, how are y'all today? Oh, I'm, we've been here before. <laughs> oh, we've been here a while. Oh, mmm, the house is smelling good. Smells like banana meatloaf. Mmm. -hmm. Something that I'm cooking right now, in fact. Oh, dolls. D are y'all, are y'all talking about shopping? Facebook Marketplace? No. Absolutely won't be shopping on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> ah! Let me scroll down. Y'all been uh, contributing for a uh, while I've been... Well, I've been making banana meatloaf. A lot has been going on. Piggy's in the bedroom. He went on a very long stroll. <sighs> These earbuds are JVC. I think they are the cheapest earbuds you can get on uh, Amazon. Actually, uh, echolocation, thank you again for the bit. Samantha420, thank you for the eight months. Good to see you. Phlebotanist, we're doing good. Oh no. Oh, I'm sending you good vibes. Uh, Mayon33ZU, thank you for the two months. Uh, <laughs> Gigi, thank you for the bids. A baked hamburger? Um, I guess so. Maybe, yeah, kinda. On what? Oh, oh. oh, yeah, you can't post links in my chat. It's too risky. We don't have, I have links disabled and disallowed. We can go over to uh, this screen if you would like, where we can shop together. So let me go over here. <gasps> oh my God, it's a search engine. So I'll move this down here. Oh my gosh, a search engine? I hope I type in the right things. I don't know what I'm saying half the time. Oh, here's all the things we did last time we, we searched the rev together. I don't know what... Oh, I typed in I'm bored, time wiki, someone y'all made me look up, black hole wiki, I'm going to Ikea. <laughs> Let's play Google search engine. Only necessary cookies, please. This is, I don't use Google Chrome. So I, this is literally the browser that I use um, 
only when I stream. None of my accounts are logged into on it. It's just for streaming. So none of my personal information will ever pop up. Um, so here's what I want to get at Ikea. Is it called Scat... Scatis? The keyboard shortcut thing? What... What keyboard shortcut thing? Do y'all know about Google.com? I never click the I'm feeling lucky button. That's risky. So I want this pegboard in the... I want it in the 22 by... It comes in the 22 by 22. I'm going to get a few accessories. That's what we're going to be putting up right here behind me. So I can hang some Tamagotchis on it. It looks really nice. It looks real nice. Um, I'll get some accessories to it. I'm going to get these pegs. These hooks. These look perfect for hanging Tamag Tamagotchis on. And then, y'all, look at this. So I haven't gone to... I haven't gone to Ikea probably in like... Seven years. When I lived in Chicago, I got some stuff at Ikea. Y'all, they've got some moon-themed stuff. Do y'all know what my username is? It could, I could hang caps there. I'm going to get a Froyo. I'm going to get a... Um, um, other stuff. Hot dog. Not me asking y'all what my username is. And y'all coming up. And y'all coming in here in my chat. And just slander after slander. Let's look at decorative accessories. I also want to look at table lamps. I'm really into table lamps. I'm really into clocks. I don't like home fragrance. I think that's a scam. Plant pots. I do love storage box. I'm opening all these in different tabs, by the way. Table decor. Oh, oh. An hourglass so I can watch my life tick away. Yes. A hand. High five. Um. These butt plugs. Seventeen ninety nine. That looks like a butt or an el oh, that looks like the elbow hole. That looks like an elbow hole. Um, a, a display box for me to put my Furby in. Now, where's the they have some moon stuff. Maybe it's in the other section. I like these little guys. I don't know what they're doing. Yo, what are they doing? What are they up to? Yo, what are they up to? <laughs> ah, this is going to be 70% shopping stream. We can do other stuff, too. Oh, look at that vase. What's he thinking about? Wrong answers only. Um, I don't know what this... Oh, that's a jewelry stand. Oh, oh, I could hang Tamagotchis on this. Wait a second. Wait a second, Mama. That's a Tamagotchi stand. <laughs> oh, the birds are cute. Now, now what about this? Who will play her? <gasps> that birdhouse for my Tamagotchis? Yeah, you can ask shopping questions, of course. Find a tablet sleeve for an iPad. A sleeve? I don't. Justin doesn't have a sleeve, but he has one that magnets onto it. And like, you gotta rip the iPad off of it. Who doesn't want a decorative acorn? Oh, I love a basket. Now, I want an hourglass. Do y'all not want an hourglass? I want an hourglass. 
I'm not really a candle person. I don't know why. Oh, it was for this. I want this lantern. And I want to get up. Okay, here's what I want to happen. Do y'all see this lantern that has moons on it? Wouldn't that look really cute like back there? But also, I want to get up in the middle of the night after hearing a noise. Full Edgar Allan Poe. And I want to carry this around the house looking for stuff. Looking for trouble. <laughs> Looking for, looking for trouble. That's what I want to do. It, full nightgown. Dressing gown, nightcap. Oh, and I'll put out a candle with this. <laughs> I can't believe they sell a candle snuffer. That's wild. Y'all, we've lost the plot. I, uh, I'm not a candle person at all. Don't like candles much, so I don't know why we're looking at them. Um, now clocks, love. I have one of those Kit Kat clocks, the one with the tail swings and the eyes go back and forth in the hallway. I love it. You know what the hair catching on fire? I've never ate candles before. Y'all are wild. Y'all are wild. I think these clocks are all a little too modern and a little too um, mid-century modern as well that to fit in with my aesthetic, which is more like antique. Oh, I do like this one. It looks like it came off a ship. Yeah, I think th that looks like a school clock. That's stressful. Mm. Oh, that one lights up though. <gasps> That's abstract. That kind of looks like the moon. I, that would piss me off, though. Mm, it's a no for the clocks. Storage bins. Oh, there was something else in home decor I wanted to look at, too. Decorative accessories. Wall decor. Where was the... There's a moon thing. Oh, I don't know about their wall decor. It just feels a little bit soulless. I want something... Oh, here we go. Look at this sloppy, floppy. <laughs> Look at her. Are y'all on mobile? Y'all still telling me to search moon? <laughs> it's like the one that I have, except a little bit tackier. I think that she is struggling a little bit. I like mine a little bit better. When mine works, it's good. Y'all on y'all y'all on mobile? <laughs> Are y'all still chopping the onions on mobile? I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. But I do need this, don't I? I don't know. That looks a little if that looks a little cheap too. Yeah, I just, this isn't my style at all. That's not my style. Let's look at table lamps. Mattresses, kitchen appliances, storage, so furniture. Oh, probably be under lighting. Is there a lighting? Here we go, Light, lighting. Lamps, decorative, oh, decorative lighting. Smart, integrated bathroom. I guess lamps and light fixtures. Oh, table lamps. I want table lamps. This is what most of the stream is going to be, by the way. I just want... I just... I'm just preparing y'all for this. I used to have this. I used to have the globe lamp. And I don't have it anymore. I think I gave it away. It might have broke. But I had that with me since like Philadelphia. Do y'all remember when I had that in Philly like a decade ago? I'm a sucker for the lamps. We have this one. I actually have this one. I really like it. It just kind of sits in the corner of the living room. What is this? Oh, I've never seen this before. Is this for gamers? I'm a gamer. Oh, that's so funny. They put stuff on it. Do I get to pick what color it is or does it scroll through all the fucking colors? Is it plastic? 
This looks like it would be plastic. Oh, put hats on it! Not my Brenda wig. You can choose the color. The Minky Mouse ears? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Product details. Now, now, what is it made out of? Is this plastic? Polypropylene. ABS plastic. Polycarbonate plastic. That's fine. Well, it's probably going to yellow. Um, I, I love this. <laughs> I could 3D print that and add my own LED. Top 10 things I don't have access to. 3D printing in any way, shape, or form, unfortunately. But that would be cool. Just set this up and let it talk to y'all. Look at the reviews. Okay. 16 five-star reviews. This lamp is a fun, whimsical addition to any bedroom. I bought it for my psychologist's daughter's office. I love that you can add accessories. I got an Ikea bucket hat for it to wear. <gasps> Dab. I think they just wanted to tell someone that their daughter's a psychologist. And that's why they wrote this review. Nice lamp for a preteen room. <laughs> Read me! Oh my god. Would like to be able to control the speed of the color transitions, but that's minor. Pretty expensive for what it is. It should be 25 instead of 36. <laughs> they still gave it five stars, so they can sit down. Great for a helmet display. Cool light. I bought this for my nephew and he loves it. He uses it for his gaming headphones. Amazing. Super fun piece. My son loves it. Nice addition to my teen's room. <laughs> no, the meatloaf, the meatloaf is in the oven. Should I change? Oh, should I put up some text to say that? We have some text. Hmm. What are all? I'm afraid to click most of the things that are. Okay, I'm not going to click any of these. <laughs> We don't have text, but the meatloaf is in the oven. Very bright and looks cool with a ski mask on in my nephew's room. <laughs> Why are these all my ne Why the people? Is this the number one gift for nephews? I think we found the number one gift for nephews. My 12 year old was mesmerized. <laughs> Not this. Um, okay. We're gonna leave that tab open. I'll leave that tab open. <laughs> oh. Oh. They have 116 table lamps. What am I... What am I supposed to do with all this information? An LED spotlight? Why would you want a spotlight in your house? <gasps> That's pretty. <laughs> Not I might get this for my nephew. <laughs> Real talk. Here's the globe light again. I love this little thing. I love this wee little thing right here. They've got this mini lamp that looks like... So there's, there's, a, there's a lamp in the hit movie Amelie. That's like a miniature blue lamp. And it looks like this one from Ikea. But I could, I would never live near an Ikea whenever I wanted it. Maybe this is my chance. The, okay, they're showing me the same shit twice at this point. I know what's up. There was a moon. The, are you talking about the moon lamp I saw? Or are you talking about this? There was a moon lamp? Did I skip something? One that looked, oh, like a lunar surface. I'm, oh, are you talking about this? Flowers? No, <laughs> why did they look like that? 
Yeah, I, they actually have some lunar surface ones on Amazon that are really small. They're really cute. Maybe I should think about that. Oh, this one too. Yeah, that's probably what you're seeing. I love lamps. I love rugs. I pick out the best rugs. Y'all don't know this about me. I pick out the best fucking rugs. Okay, I'm not ready for storage boxes yet. I'm in decorative, table lighting, and lantern. Lanterns. <laughs> and lamp. Oh, the house smells good. It smells like meatloaf. Hey, Google, how long on the timer? Oh, 23 minutes. I put it on 45 minutes instead of an hour because I want it. That, that oven sometimes cooks faster. Oh, so these, the rugs that I buy are this brand called, I'll tell you in just a second. Plants don't really thrive in this room. And also the fungus gnats put me off to having any plants in the office. I have been af afraid to, not 20 minutes left. Fake ones would be okay. So the rug is the Safavia. I've bought several of, the, of that brand of rugs. I like the vintagey looking ones. West Elm. No, see, I don't like, I don't really like mid-century modern stuff. Okay, Bluetooth speaker lamp. Light and music. Okay, Rich. That's ugly. Now, I don't know what this is. This looks like an enema kit. <laughs> this looks like... This looks like an enema kit. And what are these? Just two jewels that you throw down? I don't know what this is. Oh, kind of like a bong. Um, oh yeah, none of these are the move. None of these were the move. Now that... So the rest of the house is nothing like the office. The office is the room. The office is the room that like I kind of allow to be a little bit more kitsch. But the rest of the house is not the same color scheme as the office. I have a totally different aesthetic for the rest of the house. Which lamp? This one? I love it. This is like a gaming room. So anything goes in here. Now, storage bins. I think I have an... Oh. A basket? Multiple basket? 250 baskets. I can't do this. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this. Design. I should click on the design tab because I'm really into design. <laughs> Do y'all keep getting mod for talking about the lamps? The headlamp? No, it's $40. It's $39.99. Allegedly used to be $36 according to someone in the comments. Oh, what's this? Why didn't I ever see this? <laughs> oh, that is so streamer. That is so stream. She's a streamer. She's a streamer. And I could, and inside of the thought bubble, I could, I could have something that says live, laugh, love. What do y'all think if it said live, laugh, love inside of that? Whoa, it didn't show me any of these. There's a fucking light up kitty cat. Where, where were these? Soft toy with LED nut. That's supposed to be a pencil. Okay. Sure, Jan. Oh, that owl's freaky, though. I oh, my God. 
Those are in the kids section. Let me tell you, the crossover between kids shit and gamer shit is, the Venn diagram is just one circle. Okay, where's the kids stuff? Products, light, lighting, LED, LED. Oh, these are light bulbs. <laughs> Those are just light bulbs. Lamps and light for your decorative. Table. I didn't even see the one that's on the picture for the table lighting. They're really trying to, are they trying to scam me? Am I getting scared? Oh, kids lighting. Oh, oh my God. That's in kids lighting? <laughs> Uh oh. Hold on. They have a gaming section at IKEA now. Oh, look at this. Welcome to your new gaming setup. Mama, this is what IKEA said. Can we zoom in on her? Oh. Mama, where is this in this room? Black and red. If you're a, a gamer, everything in your house is black and red. I don't know if y'all know this. Those are the only two colors you're allowed. I will tell you, one of their chairs does look really comfortable. Whoa, where are all these lights coming from? I gotta get a blue wig. There's nothing to click on on this page. <laughs> oh, see all gaming furniture, okay. Gaming chairs, gaming desks, gaming accessories, gaming desk and chair sets. This chair looks really nice. So y'all know I love a mesh bottom chair. If I ever have to, if this Herman Miller ever poops, if I ever get poop on this Herman, <laughs> if I ever get poop on this Herman Miller chair, I'm going to be getting one of these. I love a mesh bottom chair. Isn't that cute? And look at this. It goes in from the side, too. Look at all the things that she's pushing. Hold on. She's pushing things. Oh. Oh. And watch watch all the adjustments. She It has wheels. It went up and down. Get out. Watch this. She locked it. Oh, watch this. The seat moves. The seat moves. How do you get her job? I think we have to, I think we have to look good. <laughs> I think I have to look good to get her job. I don't, I, so I can't do her job. And this, and I didn't know these went up and down. Mine don't, oh, mine do go up and down. Oh, they also go in and out. Oh, never mind. It flies! I'm going to sit in this chair when I go to Ikea this weekend. It looks so good. I love mesh bottom chairs. I will never sit in a non-mesh bottom chair again. Unless it's another chair somewhere else. <laughs> So they have this pegboard in special gamer. Now there is there. Okay. The mesh is so comfy because it doesn't like compress my spine. I don't know. I just can never go to not sitting in a mesh chair again. They have, they also have these headrests. You can attach these like third party headrests. You can attach to your Herman Miller. I would like that. It's airflow up the butt. So look at this. Their peg, their gaming pegboard has this like weird nonsense looking text or just lines behind it. It's very interesting. It's the same as the other pegboard from what I can tell. It's the same dimensions, 30 by 22. 
I guess you hang can I guess you put these on it and you like hang up your controllers and stuff. I don't know. Uh, the accessory stand, you put your headphones on it. It's a hand. It gives you a hand. Well, I have to tell you, what is this? Look at this. This looks like it was 3D printed. And it's meant to... It's only, th it's only job is to hold your mouse cord. It's to hold your mouse... Wireless mouse. <laughs> I mean, gamers generally don't have wireless mouse mouses. I use, I play Nancy Drew games. But my mouse cords never got in the way though. And wouldn't that like, if I tried to pull my mouse back, wouldn't it like rip it? Pull it? I could see that thing falling over and then I get fucking pissed. I get pissed easily. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's a poster. People like posters of cities. Ring light. I already have them. A neck pillows. Now, gaming mouse pads. A good one is a good thing. Cup. Why don't I have a cup holder? I could. <gasps> There's so much room for that. I could put that there. Okay, that's a good idea. <gasps> Why don't I have that mug? It's a bungee, it's bendy. I feel like that would have to be really heavy. Because I have so many cups. A desk mug warmer? I'm sorry, I didn't know we had a billionaire in the chat, Taylor. <laughs> ah! Ah! Not this, Sandy. I'm sorry, I didn't know we had a billionaire in the chat. It was like $13. <laughs> Have y'all heard about Taylor's custom built desk that's built into the wall? Talk about your iPad and your mug warmer. Built into the wall to their exact specifications. I bet you have a separate bidet. I bet it's made out of marble. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, sorry, I gotta scroll down. I haven't been reading these. Sorry. Passion for fashion. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. Extra constructed. Coco Crinkle. Thank you for the bits too. Oh, lemon juice. Oh, y'all were giving me ways to make it not make me cry. Oh, wow. That would have helped. Thank you, Coco Kringle. Hot Auntie B uh, with the 12 months. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Gigi, thank you again. Why so many recipes lie about how long it takes to caramelize. An oh, interesting. That is interesting. Thank you so much. Cosmos, thank you for the bits. We're all just driving nuts in the kitchen. Y'all do that even when I'm not in the kitchen. That'd just be a different place, same story. Andrew Asana, oh my uh, gosh. 26 freaking months. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that so much. Do they not have like LED light strips and stuff? I would have thought in gaming accessories, they would have this for one thing. Why does the back of her neck look so good and the back of my neck looks like how it does? Do y'all know? Why can't the back of my neck look good? <laughs> we have a double mirror in the bathroom and I can see the back of my neck at all times. Like in the hit movie, um, Black Swan. Some people really do look great from every angle, and here I am. To 
fully. Face recognition can't recognize the left and the right side of my face as the same person. <laughs> it never shows the back of your face. Facial recognition knows this is two different people. This and this is two different people. Ugh. Now I want to go back to lighting. We they really don't have they really show us all of those LEDs in the gaming part and then they don't sell them? What's up with that? Okay, thank you for the bits. Thank, we ran into that problem. You predicted it. Thank you so much. Echolocation, thank you for the bits. Wet bones. Froggy girl. Oh, this is when y'all were trying to help me get the headphones off. Thank you so much. Nothing mattress. Oh my gosh. Two years. Skus, skus, skus. It's great to see you. Gigi, thank you so much for the bits again. I want to see crazy rich people. Oh, should we shop for rich people now? What are, I don't even know what websites rich people shop on. I think if you're rich enough, you have someone else shop for you. Is that right? Where do rich people shop? Taylor, where do you shop? Integrated and desk lighting. Integrated lighting. Oh, oh, integrated means it's part of it. It's in, it's, it's in on the joke. <laughs> no, these are all white lights. Not the shortcut button. What the fuck is a shortcut button? Okay, I opened that in a new tab. Don't worry, we're gonna get there. Come on, give me the LED ones. Come on, give me something. Yeah, these LED, this is what I'm talking about, mama. LED light strips. LED lights, is that a, does that have different colors? We're gonna find out live together. Oh yeah, that was the shit. That was the good shit. I don't even need to see the rest. I'm just phoning it in at this point. Yeah, 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 garbage. I have about 20 tabs open. Now, what is this? You push the coffee button? Now, what does that get me? Who would play her? I'm not integrated into Ikea's lighting system. We'll just say that. Not my closet. Anthropology. Oh, it's uncovered, Ellie. They did not. Did they put up... Ikea really has uncovered LED lights uncovered LED light strips as something you're supposed to do. Do you know how much this would hurt? <laughs> not, oh, here we, not here we go. <laughs> do you know how much this would hurt your eyes? This would hurt your eyes. So this is what they're trying to show me in this picture, okay. And they don't have any other colors. White, 39 inches. <laughs> that part here we go choose a size 39 inches or 118 <laughs> you have two choices mama I think putting some of those on the shelf behind me would be cute oh wait look she's doing stuff I mean, I'd probably get these on Amazon. They're probably just as cheap here, though. Look what they're doing. Why do they look like Geralt in The the Witcher 3? <laughs> no, John, meatloaf's in the oven. Meatloaf's in the oven. Don't worry, we got about 10 minutes left. Probably 20. 
Why does that look like Geralt? This looks like Geralt from The Witcher. I do want these though. That is cheap. Okay, I'll put that on my IKEA shopping list. Now this only does white. Are you sure? Are you sure this is? Tr are you sure that y'all wanted to make it trash? It only make it only does white light. Oh, they wanted to make trash. <sighs> this y'all. Y'all don't even know what y'all are about to get into. When I come back from IKEA, and this is on the desk. <laughs> And y'all don't know about it. I'm going gamer mode. I'm going X Games mode. This is the this is the fourth person that's gonna live in my house. Me, Justin, Piggy, and this. <laughs> now, I love this too. I wish it came in purple. This nightlight can switch between <gasps> What are the colors? Oh. Oh, it's like warm colors. Oh no, those are other colors. The green. No purple? I wish it were a dog. That's cute. That's real cute though. So, not that shit, not that shit. Oh, yeah, what was... Wh we like this, and I was going to write Live, Laugh, Love inside of it. What about this with Live, Laugh, Love inside of it? No, no, no. I will, I'll probably have to set it like an extra 15 minutes. I was going to do a kitchen cam today on the iPad. I was going to do a, a Google Meets call to the iPad and have that be the kitchen cam. <laughs> but y'all, the quality was so bad and it took so long. I said, we'll just cook it in here. Oh no, I love y'all's cats. I just want things that look like Piggy in my house. How do I write letters in it? Well, I go down to the TJ Maxx and I get one of the signs that says live, laugh, love and I tape it on the inside. Not it looks phallic. It looks like a hairy sack. With a, with a, not that. This looks more like a speech bubble than a wiener to me. Oh my God, it does kind of look like a wiener. Well, you ruined it for me, finance streamer. <laughs> well, you ruined it for me. I'm going to keep it up anyway. LED light strips, that might be the move. Now, where did we say rich people shop at? Like, rich, if I were going to be rich and buy something decorative, where would I go? Restoration hard hardware? Bergdorf. Does, I, a lot of rich places don't have websites. A lot of rich places do like... Let's do this. Let's look up... Gamer gear. <gasps> gamer gear on Amazon. The coolest gaming gear at Razer Online... Okay. Razer's got some cool stuff. <gasps> Lethal gaming gear. I'm kind of afraid to open the... Stop! The Google alarm went off. I'm going to go check the temperature. I'm going to check the temperature of the meatloaf, and it'll probably need another 10 to 15 minutes, so I'm going to go check it and tell you how it's looking, okay? Okay, great.
It's done! Oh my God, when I tell you that it's done, so not only is it done, hold your horses. So meatloaf, ground beef, 160 degrees. Let me, I, I we need to be the big camera for this. I know my oven and that oven cooks fast. 200 degrees. <laughs> well, like 190-ish. Cooked. She's done. Mama, she's done. Burnt. <laughs> the top looks really good. It smells fucking delicious. I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes and then we'll taste it. Justin's supposed to be home. So I'll send him a text. <laughs> I'll send him a text. Can we see the meat? Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cut it in here. I'll make sure y'all see it all. 200 degrees is a little hot. Yeah. No, no, no. Fahrenheit. 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 So it needed to be like 160. Parts of it are like 190 plus. And the middle of it is like 180. I smell it. It smells delicious. The whole house smells like it. It smells really good. It seemed to produce a lot of liquid. It, I, I scooped it out of the pan and put it on a plate because I had I produced a lot of liquid. <laughs> yeah. Justin might not be home to try it, but I'll I'll do a if Justin's not home to try it, follow me on Instagram. Um and I'll do an Instagram of Justin tasting it. Exclamation point socials. Nope. Exclamation point social. Instagram.com slash half moon joe. If Justin's still at work while when this ends, which we're still gonna be chatting for a while, um then get ready. Instagram. I gotta get my Instagram numbers up, y'all. I had I just started that new Instagram like a couple months ago and I suck at it. Do some food blog style beauty shots. It, there ain't nothing beauty about this meatloaf. <laughs> I don't feed piggy table food. And I know that onions kill dogs. Don't worry. Y'all, this is the person who buys all natural organic peanut butter with no added salt or anything else for their dog. I buy expensive... I, Piggy eats... Piggy eats better food than me and Justin eat. I bought... The meatloaf that I bought for me was the discount. It expired today. <laughs> it... She's done. That meat gave up today. No, don't worry. I, d I don't feed Piggy off the table. Hit. It, it's a... I don't want to create any habits. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Not grapes and chocolate. <laughs> um, where was I? Uh, Gigi, thank you for the bits. Yeah, Bergdorf. Does Bergdorf even have a website? Oh, they sure do. It's just, yeah, it's all Prada and... Extra 25% off sale? Okay, poor, it's time to shop at Bergdorf. Earn $100 and all you have to spend is $500 to $999, which is like one item there. Uh, Davi Day! Good to see you. Thank you for the bits. Happy Friday! Space Cadet, thank you for the bids. Good to have you here. Chris B, thank you for the bids. Me, me content. Hope your interview goes well. Heather Rehan, thank you for the bids. Please look at the the juvie boot. I just got one and can definitely see you stro. 
Is that an Ikea thing? Oh, oh, that's cute. That kind of looks, that's a really nice shopping cart. It looks a lot like Piggy's um, stroller, actually. That looks nice. Um, Uki, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the bits. Emma Lightly, thank you for the bits. I hope you have a good rest of your day. X marks a spot. Thank you for the two months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I guess the only table food that Piggy gets is if we're eating plain chicken, which I like because I'm boring. Or I'll give him, not the seasoned part, I'll give him a piece of the inside. Or like plain rice. And he does get a little bit of cheese. That's his treat. I cook, Justin knows that I like, I like my meat dry, overcooked. I do like it over seasoned as well. I don't like it under seasoned. I do like it over seasoned. <laughs> Not buffalo chicken. I don't know what a five months old eat. Don't they eat pizza? <laughs> Me? Me? This is why I'm not a parent. And also, I'm too selfish. I never wanted kids. Y'all, I still play with Digi. I want the toys. I want toys. I don't want to have to share them with a kid. Also, it pisses me off when kids suck at video games. I'm not about to sit here for literally 20 years to, until a kid gets good at video games. My God. I would get so upset. <laughs> I would get so upset. Kids suck at video games. Um... Uh, sorry, t sorry, kids. Kids, I mean, it's great when they're not mine. It's great when they're not mine. Um, but that's why I didn't personally have kids. They're fine. Uh, well, I actually enjoy playing video games with the kids when we see them at Christmas and stuff. Um, but I would never want to have to teach video games because I'm a bad teacher. I would, I would not be a great parent. Um, what was that? What else was I going to say before I started talking about kids and now I have to backtrack? <laughs> Wait, what was I talking about before I had to backtrack about kids? Um, oh, I want toys. I like to play with toys. No, seriously, why was I talking about that? I'm just selfish. <laughs> Not this, Ryan. Uh-oh, the gays are having opinions again. Um, I'm I'm good with kids and I think it's because my mom was a so she, she taught pre-K and third grade forever. And I always remember her like I don't know, the, like, theories and stuff is wild. That was, like, her college major. Yours are pretty good at video games? Well, that's a plus. That's a plus. <laughs> I literally came back from checking the meatloaf and then started attacking the youth. <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh my God. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> Whitney, thank you for the bits. Small Squall, thank you for the bits. Not sure, Jan. Oh, Whitney, have a good, I hope you have a good rest of your Friday. Thank you so much for the bits for botanist. Thank you. Eris and the babes with the 21 freaking months. Thank you so much. It's always great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, how piggy eats chicken. Oh, and I was talking about how I like. <laughs> I somehow went from I like dry, overcooked, over seasoned chicken. To yelling about kid to yelling about kids.
Hmm. Time to think about. Uh, Posse Sprite. Thank you. Thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate that. GG, I don't, I'll let y'all name the lamp. I would probably name the lamp Bosef. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Do y'all want to see me backtrack for the next 20 minutes? I mean, people have to have kids or else there'd be no more people in the world. So that's great. Not <laughs> play it back. Hi, welcome. Oh, oh, good. Alexa, what are you having for lunch? Change the topic. Change the, <laughs> switch the topic. Um, y'all read the news. Oh, I don't want to talk about that either. Y'all know about, um, y'all like LED lights. What do y'all think about LED lights? What does LED stand for? Light eating Diarrhea? What am I going to do when I come into an office and see both <laughs> streaming in my place? I'll say, thank God someone else around here is doing this job because I'm not doing it well. Oh, it's light emitting diodes, isn't it? Not lights. What about the hit artist, the hit Canadian artist lights? Um, Cheap Beach, thank you for the two months. I appreciate that. Uh, Gigi. Oh my gosh, your cat says no. You got a fancy cat. I do, y'all. Piggy's food smells so good. I want to eat it, especially his probiotics. I see the Cosmos. Thank you for the bits too. I appreciate that. <laughs> Take out headphones with meaty fingies. Okay, should I go... Should I go get the meatloaf? Do y'all want to see me cut the meatloaf and eat the meatloaf? Y'all want to see me cut... Y'all want to see me cut the meatloaf and eat the meatloaf? I'm eating it with mustard, by the way. Store brand, or it might be French's, yellow mustard. I'm getting it. Oh, okay. It looks a different color on camera. <laughs> Wellness check. Yeah, traditional yellow mustard. It's just like a hamburger. Not banana gravy. Okay, so, um... Uh, oh, let me show it to you. It looks just like meatloaf. It looks a little darker on top because the lighting in here is not coming from above. It's literally just meatloaf. It smells great. The bottom of the plate is hot. This is my dead grandma's plate. It smells fucking good. This is, if y'all, if y'all don't know what meatloaf is, this is what meatloaf is. The chunks are, so those are some onions. Remember I did the chunky onions? Yeah, those are onions. It smells fucking delicious. I'm gonna eat it. Call, not eat it now, Shaney. <laughs> not fun, not y'all. Fan demanded, eat it. Bunch of, I didn't know y'all were feeders. Okay, so before I eat it though, I have to, I have to get a video thumbnail. This has got to be the video thumbnail. <laughs> so, y'all don't know. I'll, I'll do screenshots of... This. I'm going to do several poses, and this is going to be... <laughs> the video thumbnail. Okay? Okay? 
Look at me gl gripping this with my claw. Perfect. One of those will be it. <laughs> I, ought to, I ought to be ashamed. I've been on the internet for 15 years. I don't have any shame left. I have no more shame left. When I tell you that I sold my fucking soul to the internet. <laughs> I'm not taking a str This is literally my dinner. I'm not going to mess it up. Jesus Christ. I'm going to cut a slice of it. Fucking heathens. <laughs> yeah, it just looks like meatloaf. Here, I'll show you the inside. <laughs> Fucking heathens. <laughs> it just looks like meatloaf. It looks like meatloaf. It looks like a hamburger. It's a it literally a thick ass hamburger. Oh, that, wait. Oh, that might be a good thumbnail, too. Go back to the full screen. <laughs> Got it. Got the shot. Take the shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Fucking, I've just... You ever feel like you lost your identity? But then, but then maybe you actually just discovered your identity and you don't like what it is. All right, I got a slice. I'm going to put it on the miniature plate. Take the shot. A little mustard on the side. Mmm. I'm hungry and this it looks really good. Oh, I love mustard. Everyone can eat shit. I shouldn't I should stop telling you telling y'all to eat shit. Let me get a napkin ready. Okay, let's do a poll before I eat it. It literally just looks like hamburger. This is literally ground beef, ground beef, banana, onion, breadcrumbs, and spices. I'm gonna do a poll. What? Oh, how do you think it will taste? Good, regular meatloaf, or bad, bad banana meatloaf? You have two minutes to vote. So if you're watching this on YouTube, the poll says, how do you think it'll taste, good or bad? I don't know if the banana is supposed to be perceived in this. No, I'm literally not worried about trying this. I am really hungry right now. You can't even smell the banana. You can smell the banana. Like barely. No, this thing is steaming hot. The banana was essentially used as a binder. Y'all, this is how old people used to cook. I'll eat it right now. Looks like y'all are saying it's gonna taste good. A little bit of mustard. It tastes like a hamburger. If I have to be honest, you do taste the banana. I wanna eat, I'm gonna eat this whole fucking piece. And the banana tart, it's like a little bit of banana aftertaste. And it's really good. No mustard? Okay, no mustard. That's really fucking good. Y'all. How would I rate it? Okay, out of the meatloafs I've had, if I'm being honest, this is an eight or a nine. Y'all keep thinking I'm, I'm gonna eat this whole piece. I would give this an eight or a nine out of 10. It tastes fucking good. It's cooked right. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna use this on sandwiches. I mean this for dinner. If we thought it was a joke, 
I'm not joking. I don't like ketchup, so I'm not gonna use ketchup. It's good, I'm glad I put extra onions in it. I'm gonna be serving this to Justin later. You can see on my Instagram. Um, I do taste a difference with the um, banana. The more I eat it, the less I taste the banana. But it tastes very, um, I guess it's, it's got a slightly sweet taste to it. I think is the only deal with it. Make some mashed potatoes, serve it right up. Is it a good difference? Um, I would say it's almost negligible. I like it. Justin's my husband. Um, mashed potatoes, some roast carrots, some green beans. Make a little sauce for it. I'll probably melt some cheese on it later. I'll probably melt some cheese on it. What color were the bananas? So one was definitely ripe and the other one was a little bit green. The one I used a half of was a little bit green. Not really. And the other one was fully ripe. Not a slim fast sauce. Justin knows there's banana. He knows that we, we joke about banana meatloaf. <laughs> Not all of this. <laughs> Not multiple people saying slim fast gravy. Now, here's the tea with banana bread. Hate it. You should put it in muffins. You should make chocolate chip banana muffins instead of chocolate chip banana bread. It takes too long to cook in loaf form. It never cooks properly. Make it muffins, you get it 200% done faster and tastier. It's how it cooks. It never cooks properly in a loaf pan. Slop it making banana bread. I make the banana bread recipe and put it in muffin tins. That's the true tea. Don't have to cut it already in a single serving. That's the move. That's the move. It always was the move. It takes about half the baking time. You get more, like, of the nice caramelization on the top of it in every bite. The banana meatloaf, it's some kind of recipe from the 1940s or something. I don't know about wartime. Did they not have eggs in wartime? I ate the whole slice. What if I got... Food poisoning live on camera. That would be so me though. <laughs> that would be so me. What if I just sat here and ate this whole one pound of meat? Not a poison string. <laughs> I know, it's fully cooked. Fully cooked. It's still... And the great thing about meatloaf... It's still so moist. So moist, so good. Squishy, squish, squish, squish. It's just like your bones, wet. What are you supposed to eat meatloaf with? Um, yeah, mashed potatoes, green beans. Um, carrots. 
It's like part of a hearty... When I think of a meatloaf meal, I think of a hearty meal. Yeah, mac and cheese. Yeah, you can sear it, put it on a sandwich. Put it under the broiler for a little bit. Just really get tasty. I saw an article about egg prices. Oh! Hello! Egg prices? Meatloaf without an egg, use a banana instead. Hello! Oh, hello! Yeah, the chunks that you see are onions, by the way. I heard about the egg stuff. I saw an article title. <laughs> hello! Thrifty! This whole meal cost what? Okay, so bananas... For a banana and a half, for two... I'm sorry, I'm hiccuping now. For two bananas, that's what? 30, 40 something cents? Bananas are super cheap. Um, The ground beef, a pound of the ground beef, was $4.39 or something. Spices, already had them. Salt pepper, a few other things. The breadcrumbs, these were just a few dollars. And, oh my god. There's so many left. <laughs> What's a banana cost, Michael? Ten dollars? Um, the onion, I mean, less than a dollar. Yeah, and that's a whole ass meal. Get some carrots. Fry, or not fry them. <laughs> not fry them. Roast them. So good. There you have it. I think I helped people today. I think that... <laughs> I think my chat wanted to see me fail today. They wanted to see me eat something gross. They like to see me cry. They like to see me down on the floor. They like to see me rock bottom. And I think I really taught something people today. Something about perseverance. It was a little over a pound of meat. A pan one pound and like four... What? Not 14 ounces. That's almost a pound. <laughs> a pound and like a little bit. And y'all really like to see me crawling on the floor. Just really shitting. I <laughs> know. I didn't know you gotta come up with a new sub goal now. That's worse. And I think that I really proved to people that I am a streamer for the people. That I can cook a dinner, and I can cook it good. I can overcook it, in fact. And that it can be tasty, delicious, and on a budget. <laughs> this is your campaign speech. <laughs> and I think that, you know, that's great for me. And I just think I'm great. Uh. Oh my gosh, MG Link, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Uh. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that so much. Shaney, thank you for the bits. Not echoed through the halls. Listen, you gotta let them know. You gotta let them know what you're listening to. Ashley, thank you so much for the bits. Banana meatloaf and chill. What else can you say about it? Tinfoil Houses, thank you for the two bits. I appreciate that so much. Tay Turf, thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate that. Phlebotanist, thank you for the gift sub as well. I appreciate that. Heather, thank you for the bits. Yeah, we were wrong to desperate to, <laughs> to question Brenda. To desperate Brenda. What else did she cook that we're missing out on? She made soup, I think. Uki, thank you for the bits. Not Bender. I appreciate that. Henry, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that so much. I'm sending you good vibes. Not this. I see the cosmos. Thank you for the bits. Neon Gummies, thank you for the six months. I appreciate that so much. Thank y'all. 
So um, I'm going to end the stream, which means I'm going to end the VOD for YouTube. I think we had fun today. I think we did great. <laughs> Not this, Gigi. Slim Fast Soup with Valium Croutons. I'm actually just going to be right back. We're still going to be streaming. So y'all, I want you to sit down. I want you to shut up. I want you to learn something. We're not leaving. We're, I'm still going to be streaming. We're going to be chatting. I might do so. Oh, should I play The Witcher? Should I play The Witcher 3? We'll, we'll talk about it. Happy 47. Thank you for the bits, too. She didn't remember her husband. She sure remembered the meatloaf. Maybe all of us trying to torture Job when he gets a nice home cooked meal for him and his husband. Born in the game. Flip the script on you. Thank you so much, baby olives. Okay, maybe we'll play some Witcher. So we're going to end with some lo-fi. Stay here. Um, but thank y'all so much for being here. This was fun. Thank you for all the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all are the reason I get to cook great homemade meals live on stream and eat them for the hater. <laughs> Thank you so much, YouTube. I will see y'all on Monday. Everyone else, stick around because I'm going to be doing some more stuff. Ah, um, bye. Don't leave. <laughs> Don't leave. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm, banana meatloaf. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>